Hello once again, my people, it is I, Veed, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Last episode, we started our investigation to who killed Sayaka, so this episode, we're just continuing that. Because, um, we're not done yet, bitch. So, let's go ahead and see what's up. Bam. Okay, so, hey, Leon, what's up? Who are you? What are, what, what are you doing here? Like... Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma said that Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Oh, um, you're late on that. I already checked for myself. Um, mm hmm, 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 very strange. Mr. Nagy, what was Miss Maizano doing in your room? Let me see this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think that I'm guilty? Okay, trash room was highlighted, so you know what? Oh, I do need to go into here, though, because we need to swipe that DVD. But that got me kind of uh, curious, though. There can only be one thing in this trash can. Yep, the DVD has Saika's name on it. Saika really got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyways. Oh, I'm sorry, Sayaka. I need to borrow this DVD. Besides that, we are all done with the Sayaka's room. And now, we need to go to the trash heat room because you had your trash room thing highlighted. So, yes. Go into here. Hello! What's going on in this nice, neat little room right here? Uh, can we get in? There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Oh, hey, Monokuma. It's the end of the line! The trash room. This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up! How do you get this gate to open? No, 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 no! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no, no! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, no! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! We get it, Monokuma. Fuck. This is stupid. It'd be half faster just to go around and ask the others. No, no, no. No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Okay, cleaning duty. Okay, I see you. What's down here? Uh, there's a hatch on the floor. Door won't budge. It must be locked. Ooh, Monokuma coin. Okay, I see you. Um, is that the door? Uh, no, I don't want to leave the area just yet. Um, what's- what about this? It looks like some kind of switch. I wonder what it does. Oh, and another Monokuma coin! Bitch, what is up? Ooh, I am getting a rich bitch kind of feel right now. Yes, okay. Um, so that's all done. Let's go back to Yufumi. Yufumi! Hi, I need your assistance. Um, I'm looking for whoever is on cleaning duty. Mm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday- Oh! It just so happened Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the store would be flood the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> oh my god. So I firmly applied for the position. Mm. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I hadn't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning oh and since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Of course. It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open at all times so that we can all, all throw things out whenever we want? Well, then anyone could just dispose of evidence, really. That's like the main thing. That does seem more convenient. So in other words, actually. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. Bam! Bitch, like what so I just said. <sighs> I ate too much, and now I'm getting the sleepies. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear, and things would become boring. B boring? Hey, listen. 
Anyway, more important than that. Hey, hey Fatty, why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh. Oh. I, I just decided to volunteer for someone I knew nobody else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar, I know why you did Is it. You, you want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, poking around at it. Okay, Leon, Leon. No, not everybody's a fucking- oh wait, actually no, it's Hifumi. You have all the right reasons to assume that. He is a fucking perv. No what are you talking about? Sense. All my love is for a 2D. You know I mean. But it's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to- I would never get tired of 2D. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so forward about Hufumi's questionable morality, that's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them for picking up the trash to dispose of it. Hey. Ooh, yes! Fucking read him the filth, bitch! What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to. Any anyway, on another topic, Hifumi, since you were on on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm -hmm. What? So now you want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a trash trauma or save a village or beat a boss. No, no, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You oh, okay. Cool. Thanks, thanks, Hifumi. Oh, okay. So easy. So Hifumi and I headed down to the trash room. Oh god. I'm gonna have like a really bad fucking mark on my arm from how much I'm doing this. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They should have killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Okay, Hifumi, we get it. We get it with your references. But guess what? We don't fucking care right now. Whatever, please just hurry up. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, leave it to me. Hifumi pulled a key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Oh, right! However, Mr. Naegi, surely you aren't planning to use a trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend, you planned this all along! N no, I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You wanted to see if you left anything behind. Well, maybe a parallel world. Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Alright, so, starting off with all of this, this looks a little bit suspicious. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is that... Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Bi okay, 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 I get it, I get it, and I like it, and I respect it, but this is not the time for you to be pulling out Dragon Ball Z references, because uh, guess what, you're not going to be able to collect all seven Dragon Balls, summon Shinra, and wish you to get the fuck out of here, bitch, nah, that's not gonna happen, you're gonna have to deal with this like everybody else, bitch, okay, sorry, onwards, hmm. <laughs> kidding aside, thank you for kidding, it's the kind of thing you might see on a big city street corner. Gaze into it and it'll show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. I'm done with your references, bitch. Like, can we get a move on? Alright. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who does this particular ball belong to? If it's a crystal ball, uh, it might have belonged to Yasuhiro because he is the ultimate um, fortune teller. So it's probably his. There's only one person it could be. They should st all still be at the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Okay, okay, bitch, I see you. Um, ooh, what are you? Hello? Hello? There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. 
Looks like a burnt piece of something. I gotta stop with the, all these burping, beach. Um, a burnt piece, like a hunk, like a hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. Sorry. <laughs> We're obviously Makoto's not amused with it. Anyway, this is. It looks like a piece of cloth in the shape. It's part of the sleeve of from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... This is all that's left of some of, some of the evidence that the killer destroyed. But there are a lot of people here with the white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to fi uh, figure out who the killer is. Okay, okay, so we're getting something. We're getting some fucking news. Okay, um, what about the, uh, the incinerator itself? This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Uh, and it's on right now! Mm -hmm. Do you see that green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you leave this before you leave, okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on! Very, very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of the fairy. Hifumi, did you realize that you what you just said? <laughs> huh? The fairy? No, you said that last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes, about that. <laughs> about that, there can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. Got it memorized? I feel as if... Okay, that was a voice change, and you're not going to do that voice change again. <laughs> Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on. And yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without them opening the gate. But how is that possible? I'm not going to... Because I have a good feeling on who the killer is, I'm not going to spoil it. But that's up for you to figure out. Okay, okay, I fucking see you. Mm. This whole thing is quite mm. strange mm. indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off and those glass shards and burnt clothes were in. <laughs> what does it all mean, Mr. Night Aggy? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. Okay, but we didn't get to see this, though. This is, That's a huge trash can. Is that where we're supposed to put whatever trash can we can burn? Well, whatever it's for, it doesn't look like it has to be hiding any clues. But I did find a motherfucker when I couldn't home, bitch! Guys! Okay. And did we actually get to, like, see the, uh, the fucking buttons itself? The green button turns it on, and the yellow button turns it off. Or so it seems, anyways. Okay, I think we're all done here. So yeah, we're gonna leave the area. And... I don't think there's anything else that we gotta look for in here. So I think... Um, is there anything over on this side? There is not. That's the bathrooms. Uh, we do have to sign a kitchen, because since it's a kitchen knife, we all it's obviously going to be... From the kitchen. Alright. Oh, hey, Owie. I'll see Hina, what's up? Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Mm. Oh, no, I'm just taking a break, actually. Um, actually, I've been taking a break since we started. Oh, jeez. This is all a first for me, you know? Like, I don't have the first clue on what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me keep calm. So, I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Saika was killed. Wait, hold on, you were you were chilling in here? Girl, why were you chilling inside of the kitchen, though? So, like... Okay, but, um... Hi, I need to look at you. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but... Looks like one of them is missing. 
Was it missing from the very beginning, or...? I better see if anybody here knows more about it. Okay. So, yeah. So, like I said, like, it was definitely fucking missing. Let's go check this fruit. I don't think it's anything important, but there is a mon- Oh, god, I'm just finding all the fucking Monokuma coins in here, bitch. Alright, we're all good, so we're gonna leave the kitchen. But, um, Asahina, I wanna know more about that fucking- how- how you knew about that knife. Hey, so, did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Oh no! My lid! Where the fuck did it- oh, it's right there. Ugh. Sorry, I'm disgusting pig. Okay, back to it. Hey, so, did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange. A knife's just suddenly disappearing like that? Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning. That's right. Nope, last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. How do we know that you didn't fucking do a bitch? But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying that the knives disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure, you can tell every everyone that I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves that I didn't take it, which proves that I didn't kill my fucking girlfriend. Uh-uh, yeah, thank you. Um... Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not! I would never! Hina, do you really think that I murdered her? She's obviously shook to the floor, bitch. Like, she doesn't know what to think. Mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... I mean, you guys are supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her? On the other hand, two people becoming good friends and one killing the other is classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together... Aww. I honestly have no idea. Alright, well I think we're done here. It looks like we're done with this... Uh, area right here. So, we need to go check out this fucking DVD. That's what we need to go check out. So. We need to go... Okay, oh, hey Kiyotaka, what's up? Listen to me. Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's storm has a nameplate on it to show whose room it is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens... <laughs> Wait! No, no, no. You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Forget everything I said. Forget, 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 beam! I love that. Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Haha! <laughs> cool. Good, 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 good talk. Um, we're gonna go watch this fucking movie right now, bitch. Bye! Alright. So, we do need to go check out... Sayaka's movie. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in front of the player. I pushed play and the screen went dark for a few seconds, but then... Ooh, but then what, bitch? Ooh, look at them! They're all so cute! So kawaii desu! Arigato gozaimasu! An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Oh, Sayaka. She was there along with the friends that she had, uh, that she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept that she was fucking dead, bitch! You seen the body! It's she's the body. <laughs> Body. You know that she's dead! Accepting that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Okay, Monokuma. Okay, Monokuma. For these girls, <clears throat> the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. 
but then... What fucking bullshit shenanigans are you gonna do this time? Oh. And I hope. And oh. Suddenly, the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. Oh, they're all dead, bitch! <laughs> what the? Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had simply collapsed. Yeah, no, they're all fucking dead, bitch. What the fuck? Okay, so with our motivation, for our motive, at least we knew, like, with our fucking family, like, they, uh, he didn't show our family. We only assumed that they died. With Sayaka's, you can legitimately see that each one fucking died. Like, that's gotta fuck her up. <sighs> Wait. So, oh, oh. So in that case, with everything that's been happening with the... With the, with, with the nameplate switching over, and then with the sheets, like, suddenly having an attack. <sighs> oh, she fucking set us up. Oh, that fucking bitch. <gasps> oh my god, Sakura, a, a, a fucking, oh. Sayaka, you fucking psycho. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion-dollar question. What, oh, what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Look for the answer after graduation. That bitch fucking set us up. Because think of it, there would be no other reason for our nameplates to be switched for the sword to have just like a random slice in it. For our keys, for her, like, there to be like no case of like Sayaka accidentally dropping her key. She fucking set us up. Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. If he's trying to say that he even he was able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Fuck, dude. Okay. That's a lot to process, but... For right now, though, we need to go back. We need to go to the gym, and we need to talk to Yasuhiro. We need to talk to Chihiro. One about the, um... Yeah, one about the coding of 11037, and then Yasuhiro about his fucking crystal ball. Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping that I could ask you something. Huh? Oh, what is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what those numbers might mean? Like, could they be code or something? Mm, um... Sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I, I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anywhere for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, couldn't be. And finally, motherfucking Yasi Hero. Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? Uh, -huh. uh no, 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 no. I've got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. I've had enough. Got to break free. This is the part when I say I don't want it. I'm stronger than I've been before. This is the part when I break free. Because I can't resist it no more. Please. Please don't copyright me, Ariana Grande. I just love your music. <laughs> Hero, snap out of it! Uh, um... Uh, uh -huh. uh, Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Uh, that's my crystal ball! But it's all smashed, what the hell? What the heck? I, I only bought it because this guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So, how did it break? What? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? 
Dude, that guy totally duped me. Okay. Fun. He said it belonged to pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. None of them... None of them had a crystal ball, bitch. The fuck? He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you? Um, yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot in the laundry room last night. Somebody must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Cool, awesome, thanks. Thanks. Ugh, oh, thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh um, uh, sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years came out to like a million. A, a million? Um, That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gave you the power to control the world. That's just too. That, that, that's just too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. <laughs> oh, we're all done, bitch. Guys, okay. Ding dong, ding dong. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? I mean, I guess that we could. It's time for the long-awaited class trial! I'm not ready for you, you fucking clod. Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Uh-huh. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! Awesome. Good to fucking hear, Monokuma. The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Good to fucking hear. Awesome. Let's get this shit fucking started. I guess I just, like, I'm gonna get it started. Yo. Oh! You're late, Makoto! We've all been waiting for you! Huh. I bet you're afraid that you'd be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. Then we can all reveal the details on Makoto's crime. So they really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Saika both know that all too well. But then who is the killer? The one who murdered Saika. Is it really one of us? Oh, fuck my life, dude. <laughs> Is everyone here? Oh. Okay, then. He's voicing. Please Whoops. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom. Bitch, I'm not ready. Fate will be I don't want you to decide my fate, bitch. I'm in control of my own destiny. Control your own destiny. Choose your own destiny. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Oh, thanks, Monokuma. Fucking whore. Man, what do you all gotta say about this? Mondo! Why? So whoever's stuck in here even took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Okay. Uh, Gassy Hero? Impossible. Damn, we really gotta go through this class trial thing, huh? You know? If you wanna confess, I guess now's the time to do it. I'm telling you that I didn't do it! Fuck. Sakura? There's no point in standing around here. Settle your resolve and step into the future. Uh, Kyoko? Let's get this started. Okay. Uh, Kiyotaka? Relax! I haven't decided 100% that you're the culprit just yet. You may be, but you're obviously leaning that way. Uh, Chihiro. Uh, I'm sorry. S sorry. In the end, I wasn't able to do any looking around or anything. Is this really how Sayaka wanted us to find out who her who killed her? I mean, it's a fair way of finding out who killed her. I can't help but wonder who, what, whoever killed Sayaka is feeling right now. Okay, Celeste, what's up? <laughs> well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? Oh my god, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Beaks, so insistent, even though you obviously killed her. Very impressive. Okay, what about you, Leon? You know I mean. Leon Kawada. Well, I did my job. I'm counting on the rest of you from here on out. Okay. Uh, Hifumi. Mm -hmm. So, the school basement has become the darkened stage. <laughs> We're all here to bear witness to Maegi's final curtain call. Uh, Byakuya? <laughs> what? 
Well then, the time has finally come. Are you ready? Not entirely, but I mean, I guess I need to fucking do this shit. Like, damn. I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Let us begin. Yes. Good idea. Hey. Are you scared? No, scared isn't quite okay. right. I said it before, but it's up for you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Saika's death. I don't need somebody else to tell me to do that. In Saika's honor, I swear I'll find who the real killer is. As I raise my voice to try to give myself courage, I turn, trembling with the anticipation, towards the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. And everyone was already on the elevator. When I finally stepped on, the doors closed and the elevator started to move. We finally get in ready to find out who murdered our girlfriend. Our girlfriend. The steel box descended with heavy clunky sounds towards the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. You know, right after he eats his fucking, like, 12 chicken nuggets. Oh. Rather than that, it's not more like a defendant waiting for to receive his judgment? <sighs> Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further and further and further into the bowels of the school. Oh, and we landed. Hey, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you finally arrived. What do you think? Doesn't it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Not even close. It's total shit. Well, okay, okay. Everyone find your assigned seats and settle down. Yeah. Hurry up now, hurry up. We did what he said and found our seats. Oh, God. The seats were arranged in a gigantic circle. In a giant circle. Ugh, it was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their tension and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. Oh, jeez. Cool. And so the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Yes, I would like to say please. Thank you. Thank you. And I think with that, I... I'm all set and ready to end this episode, bitch. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Veed. I hope they had a wonderful time watching this. I hope they had a wonderful time watching me finally gather all of the information that I need to get this class trial in session and expose the murderer for who he slash she is. Make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe button down below. You know, have a fellow YouTuber out. Make sure to hit the notification bell so in that way you don't miss up on any of my uploads. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs> Goodbye!